Hey guys, good morning. It's Tony. For sure, before I start the video, I want to say please like, subscribe, and comment. If you want to join the Patreon, you can join at Patreon. You can join at patreon.com forward slash but I'm not a trader. And you can see one or two of the videos that I posted uh, before this one. How to join, what exactly to do when you get into the Patreon and stuff like that. Before I uh, switch hosts uh, fully to my website. Right now, Patreon is about $10, $20 a month. That is going away completely, and it, it's going to be a, anywhere between a $500 to a $700 one-time fee. Um, but let's start into the video. ES, just for clarification, ES, ES1 is essentially just um, the futures version of SPY or SPX500, right? So I'm only using this because I'm on a trade of eight or I'm on a uh, top step account, and that's why I'm using this right now. Um, for right now... I am looking at more push to the upside, right? You tried coming back down on the trend, he immediately came back up. And you know, this is actually something that I just, essentially just notified the chat of. I was like, this shit's gonna moon right now. And I told everybody, I mean, I'm not a, you know, don't join if you think that this is a signal service because it's not, I don't really do this all that much. But you know, essentially took the trade here. We, well, I sniped it actually. And this is basically your trade you know this would be a what is this ten and one rr something like that but it, but this actually you know this is more for uh you know for the 15 minutes so this is this is your trade right here essentially right take the long right at trend moonshot this to like 511 which i think that's where we're going today you know we're also running on a very weak uh four hour bear trigger right on my indicators and again these are the custom indicators that i you know I, it took years to like develop this combination right but essentially what's going on is you close the bear trigger right here at 510 5101.75 um and from here you're already closing above so once we get a little red bubble down here, right? Which essentially, it's, it's, I would confirm this as like a four hour VC or at least early, early signs of a four hour VC, right? Four hour VCs usually tend to like really, really spike up super hard. So as of right now, this does look like we're probably going to, within a day or two, probably hitting 511, 514. If not, we, we will probably do that today. Um, the last time we had a four hour VC, you spiked up. A nice solid 4054, like two, like two-ish points. Let me see. And then before that, right, you essentially went from an open of 502 all the way to 506. So a four hour, a four, a four dollar push, right? So four bucks from here on a VC would take us to that five, 514 level, right? So that's basically where I think we're going. I think SPX right now, if this closes, right, I do think we are headed to 514. And we're gonna break these highs of uh, 512. Um, and even right now, I think even right now is a really good solid long, right? You basically just take it here, run this up to trend, right? And your low would basically be that. This would basically be your trade. And this is running a three to five RR. So, I mean, you're risking 100 bucks to make 350, right? This is basically like the easiest way that I can explain it. But this would be what I would take. You know, on uh, the daily, we're still bullish. It just, you know, this bounce here, right? Like if you would have actually closed the candle to the low side like this, so if you would have closed like down here somewhere, like at 5091.25, then I'd be like, oh yeah, short this thing all the way back down. But you have a lot of, you still have a lot of bull power. So there's no reason to be short right now. And if anything, this is even more reason to long to like 514. So I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.